Hello, my beautiful Soul Drive family. This is Mimi. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you are already an existing subscriber, thank you for being part of my Soul Drive family. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for donating to my channel. And lately, I have been getting a lot of, you know, requests for one-on-one -on -one session. And I love the session that I have with my uh, sisters. I feel like I'm talking to a friend. And I'm happy that I can give you the message. I can give you the advice that you need. I can be the life coach that you need. Whatever that you need, I'm happy that I am the vessel for the Most High to be able to help you. And to be able to help you get to the next level or to prosper or whatever the problem that you have. And lately, I've just been so happy because God have been... The session that I have been having with my sisters, it's almost like I know them. You know how you have a best friend or a friend that you know all your life? You know, the session is just... God been telling me to do my session differently, you know... I'm still, I still do it in a professional setting, but it's like God said, those are your sisters. So you have to talk to them where they can be comfortable. So my session, when you come talk to me, there's no judgment zone. You are comfortable. You are my sister. You can talk to me about everything. And I'm here like the bigger sister to give you some advice to help you to make your life better. So this is the message. I'm in my gratitude mode because God have been really been blessing me lately. And then my family, my soul tribe sisters, y'all really come through and I'm very happy. So this message that I have, and I'm going to share with my sisters or for whoever is waiting for the kingdom spouse. This message is that your kingdom spouse, you are going to grow old with them. You're going to be in a loving union, a very committed union, a union where there will be no divorce. I keep seeing God been showing me that my husband that's coming for me, there will be no divorce. I will not ask for a divorce and he will never ask for a divorce. So it's going to be like in a relationship where you both are interested in each other, invest in each other. There will be no divorce like, oh, I'm tired of this relationship. I can't wait to get out of here. Or this person is abusing me or mistreating me or trying to control me or think they're the boss of me. No, there will be none of that. This new relationship that's coming for you. You get in this new divine relationship has a gift. That's what I see it. It's like God said, in the past, you dated so many people that was not good for your soul. People that got a kick out of destroying you. People that just didn't have no clue of how to love you. Or people that couldn't take your goodness. They couldn't take your divineness. It was too much for them. It's like, I'm wicked and this girl is too good for me. She's too sweet. She's too... She too pure. She too innocent. I, I, I can't deal with that. I'm wicked. I like to kill, steal, destroy. And you over here being, you know, <laughs> being too nice, being too righteous, trying to save the world, trying to make everything better. They can't deal with it. So this is not what you're going to receive. God is sending you your husband or your wife. Someone that you're going to grow and build with. I keep seeing 444. Four, four. Like, man, those numeric numbers have been chasing me for years. 444, 555, 111. I see it all. That was one time I was like, God, why am I keep seeing all those numbers? But now I know as a chosen one, you're supposed to see those numbers. Those numbers have messages. It's telling you what you need to fix about yourself, what, what you need to pay attention to, what you need to let go, what you need to receive. It's a lot of those messages when you see in those divine numbers. I call them divine numbers. I don't call them angels numbers or the world number. I call them divine numbers. You are meant to see those numbers because they are sending you message and telling you that how, what type of path that you need to take forward. You have been going through so much in your life. You have to go forward to the righteous path. 
nothing else you can't go to anything that's wicked because you've been through so much pain the only path you can go through is the righteous one so back to what i'm trying to say is that because of your righteousness god is sending you a husband or a wife that you you can build with is going to be something about stability, foundation. Many of you that's hearing this message, you never had a stable home. You always moving places to places, all over the place, getting evicted. Or could un- you could never afford your living situation. But God said, I'm sending someone with you that's going to build with you. You have so much dreams and goals that you want to do. And you always ask God, how am I going to make it happen? God said, I'm going to send someone. You have the dreams and the goal. Remember that. You are the, I don't know if you ever know, like there was a show back in the days. It was called Pinky and the Brain. And the message they had was like, same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. So, you like trying to take over the world, but you don't have nobody to finance you. So, God is sending your husband or your wife, someone that can help you with your dreams to make your dream come true because you are a genius yourself. So, God is sending you a husband that's going to help you start your stability, your foundation. You're going to do great many things together. And you're going to grow old together. That's what I keep seeing. It's like you're going to be married with that person for 40 years, 50 years, whatever. The moment you meet, that's it. We are forever to the end. So you're going to grow into this relationship be in love, be in part of this relationship for the first time someone gets you, for the first time you meet someone that's your match, for the first time you feel in love, for the first time you're being taken care of, you nurturing, for the first time nothing, no red flag. So God is saying you that type of relationship. It's like, oh, the land of milk and honey is so sweet. It's going to scare you a little bit because you're so used to toxic when this healthy love is coming for you. When this divine love coming for you, you're going to think that, oh, am I getting played? Is this too good to be true? Or I never received anything like that. But this is your gift for your good heart. You have a good soul. You're so pure. You're so loving. Don't you think you deserve that back? Many of my client or people I talk to, all my friends, they be like, Mimi, I don't have that type of confidence that you have. No, it's not about that you don't have that type of confidence that I don't have. I just know I am the child of the most high God. I deserve the best. I deserve to live the best. I deserve to have the best. Because that's what, whatever God wants for me, I want for myself. I had to learn that. And from that moment up, I hushed my mouth. I said, God, oh, you want me to to live good? Okay, I'm going to live good. You want my mental mental state to be healthy? It's going to be healthy. God said, I come that you'll have life and have it abundantly. Your soul supposed to prosper. Your health supposed to prosper. Your money supposed to prosper. Your love life supposed to prosper. You supposed to prosper, period. So God is sending someone that's going to grow old with you, that's going to accept you, that's going to lock it in, that's going to love you, that's not going to be like, oh, I changed my mind or this is too much. You are locked in. You are locked in bright. Once your husband comes to your life, there will be no divorce, no separation. No, I'm not in love with this person. No, okay, we don't get together. We're not aligned. It's not working out. None of that. You're going to be in love for the first time. Someone is coming to your life to make everything better for you. 
because of the inner work that you have been putting out there. So your new love life is beautiful. It's coming for you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Many of you I'm going to be inviting to my wedding. Because God has already shown me. I've been so picky. Because let me tell you. When you have been upgrading. When you are no longer settling for the low. It take a long time for God to give you the masterpiece. To give you the perfect spouse. Back then you used to settle for less. You used to settle for crumbs. You used to settle for people that don't reciprocate their love back to you. You was begging them for their love. No, now you're going to be get your equal match. You're going to get another you. Your love is going to be so pure, so divine, so reciprocated. It won't be no one side. It won't be like, oh, I love him. He don't love me. Oh, I love her. She don't love me. None of that. Someone is going to be into you as you are into them. You're going to hold hands. You're going to be in love. It's going to be like this kind of like fairy tale. Like, I am so in love. I can't believe I'm in love. Oh my God, is this what love feel like? I feel so good. This is the type of energy, the type of feeling that you're going to have. You're going to be like, oh my God, I feel so good. I don't have no stress today. Nothing bothering me. Nothing's annoying. I don't feel like I need a snap. I am so in love. My husband's so in love. He's sending me flowers. He's in love. Like, I'm telling you, this love that's coming for you is so pure. It's so stable. You're going to grow old together. I keep seeing that. You're going to grow old together. That's all I'm saying. God keeps showing me that. Mimi, when your husband come, that is it. There's no other man that's coming after him. This is it. This man that's coming to you, this is it. No other husband that's coming. No other divorce. No other separation. This man that's coming, this is it. You're going to be with them till you die. That's it. This is what God has shown me. Your husband or your wife that's coming, you're going to be locked in. You're going to be in love. There will be no separation, no divorce. You guys are going to be so into each other. Nobody is going to be having no dissatisfaction. You know, when you're not satisfied with something, you're like, oh, this is me. This is not good. I'm not enjoying it. You're going to be so in love with each other. It's like, oh, my God, I can't. Every day, I'm happy. I can't wake up to be near my husband. And your husband will be like, oh, my God. Every day, I can't wait to be with my wife. This is your fairy tale that's coming. Your, you know you know how they say forever after. You're happily ever after. Because God showing me this relationship that's coming. This is it. This is it. Nothing else coming after. So embrace it. <laughs> Enjoy it. This is your time. This is your moment. Receive the love that's coming for you. Because you are such a lovable person. God said you need to work on your self-esteem. Because you, you have this low self-esteem about yourself. You don't feel like you're worthy of receiving good things. But you give good things. You give so much good things. Why don't you think that you deserve to receive high things? So... Take that negative emotion, that mindset out of you. Just know being the child of the Most High God, you are qualified for every blessing, for any blessing, whatever that you ask for. So your husband or your wife that's coming, you're going to be together for a long time. Get ready for a long time. Permanent. Nothing temporary. There will be no divorce. This is what I keep seeing. No divorce. This is it. Whatever age that you are, if you're 20, <laughs> you're going to go old together forever. If you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, there's no age limit when it comes to God. Match making and putting people together for his divine being, for his divine will. When God have a mission and he needs to put people together together, you don't really have a say so. You just have to participate. So your husband is coming. This is it. This is forever after. 
This is, we're going to grow old together. We're going to be stable. We're going to buy a house together. We're going to have kids and, you know, they're going to grow. Like, this is forever. This is nothing else. This is your forever after. You're going to grow old together. You're going to be stable together. Protect each other. Love each other. Your husband is already a provider and a protector. So you don't have to worry about the finance part. The only thing you have to remember is that, do you want this forever? Do you want this forever? And you have to ask yourself, do I want to be with someone right now forever? If you're not that type of person that want to be in a permanent relationship, then don't ask God for a spouse. Because what God is about to send you is going to be a forever thing. It's not going to be like, I'm tired of you. I can't stand you. I, I need to get out of this relationship. This relationship is toxic. It's not healthy for me. You are getting someone that you're going to be in love with. And this person is going to be in love with you. And you're going to grow old together. So this is the message that I have. And I want to share with you. And if you want to book a session with me. You can always do that. I'll put the message. I'll put the link out so where you can reach me. And when you have a message, when you have a session with me, is no <laughs> judgment zone. You are my sister. And when I talk to you, I'm going to talk to you in a way that's professional. But it's also like, I'm like your sister. Whatever that's bothering you, whatever that I can help you with. Whatever solution that I can give you so you can be living your best life. That's what I'm going to do. As your sister, I want you to live the best life. I'm not going to be selfish and act like, oh, no, I get to live the best life. But my sisters are struggling. No, I don't see things like that. I feel like if you're on my team, you're on my soul tribe, whatever information that I know, I'm going to share it with you so you can have the best life. So this is the message that I want to share. Your spouse, your husband is coming and you're going to have a great life. No more struggling, no more pain. This person is going to grow with you. They're going to build with you. You're going to have house properties. They're going to grow with you forever to the end of time. Till you leave out this earth. You will never be lonely you're not going to be like those lonely people that's like in a, you know, um, I don't know, like a take care of home. Like, you know, those homes where old people go to because nobody care about them. You're not going to be one of those nursing homes. You're going to be love. <laughs> you're going to be in your 70s, 80s, 90s, and you're going to be pro being provided for and still being a wife. So your husband that's coming for you, he said, I'm in this forever. So I hope you're in this forever till we die forever. We're going to go old together. So this is the message that I wanted to share with you. And I hope you have a wonderful, amazing day. Bye-bye.